that one, Richard. Uh, I just want to thank everybody that came out. We had a good turnout today. We ended up having 21 bowlers today. Even how the weather was and everything, I wasn't expecting that. I was really surprised at that. I don't know how many bowlers I had. And, uh, but, uh, first of all, I want to give out uh, high singles for each strength. It was extra money that we had that I can give out. So in uh, strength one, 148 games, it's uh, Brian Surprise. Two of the 160 is Chris Collette. Get in, get in tight. The other side. Uh, string three with the 156 went to Louis Mayer. Mahar. That is Louis Mahar. Then string four with the 170 was to Joe Rapp. Alright, now I'm going to have the uh, 5 seed made, made the ladder to come up here with me just to be recognized. The 5 seed is going to be Junior Bashan. This side, this side. Right here. Uh, the 4 seed is going to be Louis Mayer. The 3 seed is going to be Brian Surprise. The 2 seed is going to be Dave. Uh, just in front of the box. And then the one seed is going to be Joe Rapp. Right next to him, right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> right. You didn't quit. Funny guy, wish you guys luck. It's going to be one one string against each other besides the last game for the championship. It's going to be two games. Okay, uh, wish you all luck. Louis and uh, Junior, please stay up. Right in your positions. Tighten up a little, guys. All right, guys. We're going live here. This is the Ron Richard Memorial Tournament here. Putnam Street Lanes in Fitchburg. I'm Drew Steele. I'm seeing the event on the left side. Miss Bright representing Bayberry Lanes. Mr. Louis Mahar representing Putnam Street with a 93 average. Making his first ever tournament. Mr. Junior Bissett. One game. Let's go. Five boxes at a time. Double barrel action here. 21 people trying to qualify today. Joe Bisson Sr. cheer on his son in here. Ralph Reitzel. Moncton, New Brunswick's on here. Nico Puhar's on here. We're rocking and rolling. 24 viewers in the first minute. Thank you. Louis Mahar on the right hand line. Louis in the pocket. Louis carrying a 102 average. What is the handicap for this game? We'll get you the handicap in a second. I need the handicap difference between the two bowlers. Okay, Louis on his third ball. Be a nine. Junior with a ten. Fish is calling the lob line of fouls. Nine, eight, it's seven pins. Eighty percent is seven pins. Nine times eight, seven point two. Seven pin handicap for uh, Joe Junior. Junior Bisson. Big hammer there, Louis Mahar. Set that detonation. Oh, nice bid there for Junior to not go. Okay, Junior with 20 through 2, with a handicap that's 27. Let's get that ready for the next game. You did great, man, you did great. Louis oh, gets a split. Nice head pin hit for Junior. For 93 average bowler, Junior really brings the heat. I don't know how long he's been bowling, but he looks good out there. 
Louis a veteran. Hits two. Junior. Yep. Junior just needs to stay in balance, but he looks like he's a younger bowler. Not a lot of experience. We got Nova Scotia on here. 32 viewers. A 10 box for Louis. Seven for Junior. Okay. okay. Time out. Gary. Where's Gary? We need Gary. Gary. We need Gary. Right. On the scoreboard help. We got an inexperienced scoreboard because Fish is doing the foul line. They need to correct the score. Uh, Junior does not have a strike in the second. He has a 10 box. Okay. All right, we need a little score correction. We got a new person working the score table as per usual. Great tournament today. 21 people turning out with two other tournaments going on. It's a really good thing. I'm glad I could be here. We got a little scoring correction. It's semi automatic scoring here at Putnam Street. Our juniors at 27 through 3 with handicap at 34. I was like, last year. There we go, we're back to normal. All right, fourth loss. Casey McCool injured his rib. I'm sad to hear that for you, Casey. There you go. Beautiful ball by Junior there. But now he's got a strike on the board. I'm going to wait until Greg Packer from Australia saying hi. Who started rolling? Yep, you gotta wait for all you people new to candle pin. You gotta wait for all the pins to be still on the deck to throw an official ball. I never know. I never know. And he gets it. Beautiful spare, Louis Mahar. Strike for Junior Bisson. We got a match. Four pin lead for Louis through four, and he got no balls working. <laughs> Oh, six for Louis. Going for a double, Junior. Man, this Junior, man, throws a good night to the average bowler. He really throws a good ball. You're going to have to talk to him a little bit later, find out his history. Oh, missed it. Okay, Junior gets eight on the strike. Cuts it to two, the deficit right now. One pin game right now through five boxes. Bowlers have to switch sides. 61 for Junior Bisson, 62 for Louis Mahar. One game match. Casey McCool, a uh, great uh, level B ACST bowler, got injured today, unfortunately, with a rib injury. Hopefully that does not end this season. Get well, Casey McCool. Boy, will these bowlers like the bowl at that warp speed? More so Junior than uh, Louie. Okay, Louie leaving up at 110. Junior has the Cleary. Four horse for the eight pin. Winner gets from Diamond Junction Lane in Palmer, Massachusetts, Mr. Uh, Brian Surprise, who's a really good ACST bowler as well. He's in the playoffs for uh, the C Division if the season would end today. Okay. Eight for Louie. A five box for Junior Bisson. Louie up four right now. Four to go. Junior way off. Chops out to six and nine. Also a little bit off. Louie in the chop zone there. Taking out the three. Five and nine. Yeah, oh, it's, wow, he moved the pin like a foot. One, two, and five left. Louie, beautiful bid. Leaves a 6 10 up there. Okay, pins are flying. 
Nice 10 box there for Junior. Louie with an 8. Two points, two pins there for Junior. Junior trails by two. Three boxes to go. Winner will get Brian Surprise. 107 average out of Diamond Junction. Out of 428 with handicap tonight. Oh, Junior gets in the chop zone. Four horse with a 7 8. Louie in the pocket. Unloads the detonation there with a. Leaves a 10 pin. Junior off to the right, leaving a Kaliri. Four horsemen with the 8. They got Junior. Louie with a gutter. Hold it. Hold your phones. That would have been a big spare for Louie. Oh, Fox. Play your lottery ticket, Junior Bisson, getting a 10 out of that. It's a one pin game. 87, 86, two boxes to go. All right. I tried to get it as close to the pins as I could. And so you can see the ball release and the ball hit the pins. Seven, eight, nine. Beautiful ball for Junior. Gotta love it. Junior's the underdog. 93 average. Going against a lot of tournament veteran bowlers here. And he oh. makes the spare. Junior Fisick. 96 in the ball. Oh! Louis with an answer. What a clutch spare by Louis Mahar. One pin, one box to go. Gotta love it when the bowling's like this, man. Okay, it's three on the spare. Louis in the nose gets five. Louis makes two there. Louis up three right now. Okay. Junior's got four horsemen he's got to try to convert. Louis gets two. Louis's only up three right now. Six, seven, eight. I think that's it. Louis Mahar will advance. They both get eight. Final score, 110 to 107. Nice job. Louis Mahar, little man, will play Brian Surprise. Louis, nice job to you guys. Sorry about that scoring issue. All right. Going to game two here in the Ron Richard Memorial Tournament. Brian Surprise, coming out of Diamond Junction in Palmer. ACST C Edition Bowler. In the playoffs. Louis Mahar coming in. He's got a high triple of 411 and a high single of 173. 102 average out of Bayberry in Spencer, Massachusetts. Down in my home turf. He'll be facing coming out of the bowl away in Gardner, Mr. Dave LaRaba. First time I've seen Dave since the September 2022 uh, King of the Hill finals where he made the final and was defeated by Linda Brunette in a very close match. Candle Pit Bowling Network we're on right now on the Facebook. Yes, sir. If you want, share it with a can share it with Candle Pit Chat, somebody. Share it with Candle because I can't. Because I'm broadcasting. But uh 40 viewers, 42 viewers, that is awesome. Thank each and every one of you, man. We're here at Putnam Street Lanes in Pittsburgh. I think it's the third annual Ron Richard Memorial Tournament. You know, Brian Surprise is a new name to me. He was new to the ACST this year. Um, doing really well. Um, I did one of his matches. He bowled well, but he ran into Ashley Britton, bowled a 588 that day on him. And, uh, but he took four out of 14 in that matchup. I don't really, I haven't done as many of his matches as I've seen Louis bowl, but. 
Match two. Winner's going to get Dave LaRava. Winner of that gets Joe Rav. And we have been waiting for Joe Rav here. He's perennial in all these events in this house. To win one of these. And Joe pulled like gangbusters. He's the number one seed right now. Okay. I need a uh, Rob right now for a handicap. What is the handicap between the two? Oh, I should forget his number. Brian's at almost seven. We can probably figure it out then. Louis, 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 Louis. So four pins. 80% of five is four, so Louis gets four. Okay, go ahead, guys. Here we go. On the right-hand lane is Mr. Brian Surprise in the green. So Mr. Louis Maha. It's good bowling. Here we go. Surprise on the head pin. Leaves the aces and eights. Two, four, six, and ten. Louis off the head pin. Takes out the... 3-6-10. Beautiful shot, Brian. Surprise. Two, four, six, ten. Okay, Louie looking to get a uh, ten box here. Junior Bisson, for his first ever tournament, really had a good showing, man. He really did. I mean, it's got to be nerve-wracking as heck. I know, first time I did a tournament, I bowled a 78 game against somebody in a bogey with singles knockout. So he, he, he did really well. Surprise, 7, 8, 9. Brian, surprise, after a quick start, up 8 on Louie through 1 right now with a spare opportunity. Louis with a one, three, six, eight. Surprise, back to back attack. 29 in the ball. Louis, oh God, Louis just got robbed. Grand Theft Auto for Louis Mahar there. Yes, this is. Brian was the number three seed with a four. 28 qualifier, 107 average. Leave nothing on there. Come on, come on. I'm tired. I can't hold it. I get you. I get you. I get you. Louis right now is down nine and a fill ball for Brian Surprise. Through two. Brian out for a quick start. Very rare for somebody who's been sitting for a little while to come out this way. Oh my god. One drop? Are you kidding me off the three pin? Work it out, Brian. Work it out. Work it out. This is why I can't look at bowling will bowl. Drive you bonkers. But yeah, Brian's up 10 though. Beautiful out, he almost gets it. Louie with a double chop, God. Make my skin crawl when the Day nine box for Brian. Quick 39 to 3 though. Louie made a very good out. 8-9. Okay, Louie at 29. 10 pin lead for Brian Surprise. This is a one string match. Winner gets Dave LaRaba. 107 average bowler coming out of the bowl away in Garner. Pocket hits 7 8. Surprise, but a very difficult 5 6. Louie off the head pin. He's been off the head pin this whole game so far. Four horsemen with the 8. The handicap for last train was 7 for Junior Bisson, guys. It was a 110 107 game. Junior lost by 3. Great bid for surprise. Did not go. Louie right in there. Buries it. Nice job, Louis. Louis back in it now. Got a big fill coming up. Louie down 10 right now. 49-39 with a big fill ball. That's why we like it. A lot of really good competitive matches at Putnam Street. Tournament director Fish right now doing the foul line and the lob line touchdown. Okay, Brian in the bye-bye. Touches them all as your Dave LaRama screaming that one. 59 and 2. Double it up. Brian scratched the Louis Mahar, only three on that spare. Huge strike there for surprise. 
Okay, off target again. Taking out 3, 6, 10. One, three, five, and nine right now for Louie. Oh, six bucks. Okay, 48 half for Louie. Now 59 half for Brian Surprise and two balls. Surprise up 11. Yes, he did, uh, Mr. Joe Smith. He bowled great. For someone who hasn't, I don't think, bowled for that long, I'm going to ask him, but he looks good up there. I think he's got a really good future in this game. He should bowl our King of the Hill coming up for Saturday in uh, April. Oh, Louis leaves a 3, 4, 6. God, 2, 4, 6, excuse me. For a double surprise. Surprise, surprise, unique. On right hand lanes, he works it right to left. On left hand lane, he'll work it left to right. I noticed that when he bowled Ashley Britton in the ACST. But uh, no spare for Louis. And eight on the strike for Brian, increasing his lead to 19 pins. Nine box for Louis. Louis really got to turn up that engine. Oh my goodness, he's going to make it. Almost made the 6 7 clean there. Nine box. 76. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have wrong one. All right. Brian through six leads by 19 right now. Louie so. just missed by a little bit there. Brian on the object just did not go over there. Alright guys, Okay, 86 for Brian's prize. Five box for Louis, 62. 24 pin lead for Brian, three boxes remaining. Not by, there we go. Louis says, I'm joining this battle. Five, six, seven, eight. Surprise getting all sorts of action off the head pin. Let's see what Woody's gonna have. See the wood to the right, left side could could go. It's gonna be tricky. He's got kind of a cap, diagonal wood. Catch it. Just going for that cap, trying to deflect it over, but did not go. Right now, 24 pin lead for surprise. 23 pin lead for Brian Surprise as he's 95 through the eight. All right, Brian, don't let up. Louis, oh, you got another one. You got another one. Got to make this spare. Must mark for Louis right now. Surprise, leaving his starlight five. Two, four, five, seven, and eight. Louis, six, seven, eight, nine on the strike. All right. It uh, cuts the lead to 14. Take it, come back. It it. Beautiful spare for surprise there. 105 and a ball. He's up 14 if Louis gets a 10. Okay. Coming back. One oh five, one oh five, ninety one. Brian surprised with a fill ball. Must double strike situation for uh, Mahar. Right now. Winner is going to get Mr. Dave Larama in the tournament semifinals. Some real good bowling. Nice eight drop from Louis. Brian gets four. He's up 18 right now. So the match is over. Brian Surprise has one. Louis with a nice finish though with the spare. We'll give you the final score here in a minute. Brian Surprise will be playing Mr. Dave Laraba.
And it's going to be a scratch match. Hey, it's a good one. Uh, get it. Rolling <laughs> <Roll in> 14 <laughs> for Brian. Take it! Nice. Louis with a big comeback, but he came up just short. 110, 106 scratch, four handicap. Two games, seven pin difference so far. Great bowling, great night of bowling for Louis. Hey, Mike Izzo, how are you doing, sir? About ready to go into the semifinals. How do I do that? 46, 47 viewers, Mr. Rob Richard. We have got some viewership right now. These are the bowlers that are going to be in the money tonight. And then you do two. Yeah, yes. Mr. Dave LaRaba, bowl of 430 and qualifying. A lefty. Yeah, Cannabis Bowling Network, sir. On YouTube. Okay. Yep. It's on the Facebook right now. Then it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Facebook right now. I can I can get YouTube. Yep. We got Terry. Let's see your name there. For Grace, or for Goose, watching from Maine, Terry. Again, glad to have you on here. I remember you from other broadcasts. Uh, There's no straight. straight. It's, it's, oh, okay. it's going to be a straight scratch match. Both bowls with the same average. Once again, Dave LaRaba almost won the King of the Hill about a year and a half ago. That's the last time I've seen him. Um, <laughs> bowls out of Bowl Away and Garner. Cam Clark, Cam Clark, two-time winner, came out of bowl away. So it's going to be a big match right here. Dave was so fired up, he almost jumped up the ceiling. Yep. Yep. All right, we're getting down to it. Tournament. Hey, tournament. Uh, Runner here, Rob Richard for the Rod Richard Moore tournament. We've had thrilling finals so far. What, what are your opinions? My opinion is there's been some great bowling going on, and I'm just I'm just really impressed with the turnout we had today. I can't ask like might be a day I didn't bowl that great, but I'm more happy with the amount of people that had today to yeah. make this a great tournament. A lot of these bowlers have been part of the King of the Hill series and other series, so yeah. it's great to see all the Fitchburg bowlers coming out. Dave going for a spare, gets a nine box. Brian Surprise with a nine ten with a win in between, studying it. Yeah, Brian Surprise, very good bowler out of Diamond Junction. He's in the ACST, and he's doing very well this year. This is a scratch game, fans. Scratch game. Rachel Fontaine says, good luck to Dave LaRaba. Thank you, Rachel. Ten box. Okay, Brian goes up one. Joe Rab with a 107 tournament average is your tournament leader. Bowl of 452 of the handicap. Handicap was based on 135 today, 80%. Tournament director Fish is doing the lob line and foul lines. One three eight for Dave. Brian surprised with a one three nine. Both bowlers not on the head pin yet. Trying to find it. It's a big game for both of them. Rama, it's a little off. He's been sitting for a little while. Sometimes takes you a couple boxes to get it going. <coughs> Brian Surprise. Just off there. Looks like he may have stuck there a little bit or something. Just a little bit off. Laraba gets a nine box. 18 for two for Dave. Once again, Dave carries a 107 out of Diamond, not Diamond Junction, Lane's the bowl away Garner. Diamond Junction is Mr. Brian Surprise. Surprise up two through two. All right, thank you for that hockey yeast update. Yeast looks like the 
BC's up three to one after two. Well, two great teams. Oh, surprise! Open up your kaboom box, right? Surprise! Thirty-two balls. LaRabo looking to make it to half Worcester. It's pretty when it goes. He's got a shot out. Double chopper, Dave. All right. Dave needs a big out here. If he can just get eight out of this, regroup. Keep on going. Okay, seven for Dave. 25 to three. Uh, surprise up five and two fill balls. As we speak. <laughs> Christy Dave says, Go honey for Dave. All right. Dave threw a great ball in the head pin there. Left a 2 5 with some wood. Surprise misses the head pin. Leaves a washout. 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. For Ryan Surprise. The raw ball, he pulled that. Okay. Still needs that for his 10 box. Still plenty of time. Surprise gets. Oh, wow. Got two more on the spare. He's up 13 right now. 38 to 3 for, for a Brian Surprise. And that'll be an 8 for Dave. 33 for 4. Good 10 box. 48 to 4. 15 pin lead for Brian Surprise. Six boxes to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nico. I agree. Uh, Dave, a little bit off there, taking out two, four, seven, eight. Ryan gets a hammer. Is that a surprise or what? Dave, just a little bit off. 58 and 2 for Brian through 5. Two big strikes. Dave with a 7. Dave struggling a little bit right now with a 40 half. But camp and bowling, things can change and turn a hat, baby. I've seen Dave LaRobba bowl 75, 80 halves before. Yes. It doesn't count unless you release the ball. I was at the Worlds. You can slide and you can do a foul. You don't release the ball, it doesn't count. I saw that at the Worlds six years ago. A couple guys were mad about it, but that's the rule, I guess. That's all. Brian being on top, one, five, six, nine, ten. Looking to get on that spare fill. Dave LaRava, nice pocket hit, seven, eight. Move the freaking two pin five inches or something. God, that was a terrible break for, for Dave on that. When you're trying to build momentum and come back in a match. Eight in the strike. Surprise of 26 right now. Dave beats us. Oh. Nine box for surprise, 75 to six. Still have 48 viewers, man, awesome. Good 10 box, made a pin back there for Dave. Dave trails by 25. I personally, myself, have made up 32 pins in two boxes. So for those of you that are new to the sport of candle pins, I'm sorry again for the vertical. Facebook does not allow me to uh, broadcast in portrait. I'm gonna tr there's ways to get around it. I gotta try to study that next week. Beautiful nine drop for Dave. Okay, seven, eight. Okay, one and five left for surprise. Big opportunity for Dave right here. Dave just hasn't been able to. Get that second ball to work yet. I was just notified by tournament director uh, Rob Richard that the next game will be a scratch game. Nine for Dave, nine is 25 pins, two to go. Uh, at the very minimum, Dave's gonna need a, like a strike, spare, strike type situation. Linda Batchelder on here, thank you. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Let's see if Brian can make a spare this game. 
He's got a couple strikes. Got three, four, six for Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Fish, you gotta see the pin is over the deadwood line. We have a deadwood line this sport. If the pin touches it or is past it, we must remove it. For those of you that are new to our sport watching right now, 46 viewers. We're at Putnam Street Lanes, wonderful Fitchburg, Massachusetts right now. There is his first pair of the game, 94 and a ball. Oh, Dave went for it. That is for sure. He went for it. Got to try to get a 10 out of this. Gets an 8. 27 pins for uh, Brian Surprise right now. Winner goes in a two string match against Joe Rav for the title. Okay. Ryan. Wow. 3 5 7. Nice ball, though. Dave leaves a 1 3 7, and he must make it. He must a spare right now. Situation. You up to? Yeah. Do it. This could be over. This could be all. 1 10. That is it. Brian Surprise will move on to the finals. <laughs> Brandon Martin says Brian Surprise didn't want to get robbed anymore like his match today, so he made the trip out. Yeah, he made a good decision making the trip out. Fendo, because he's in the finals. Two game finals, just like the King of the Hill. Beautiful oh, line, huh? Dave, even a 1 3 7. Dave had a phenomenal qualifying. With a 430 with handicap, a second to only Joe Rav. Uh, Dave. It's going to be a 119 for Brian Sprush. And then 83 for Dave LaRava. This is my. Dave LaRava will finish in the money in third place. Oh. Who got the high single out of the duty? High single out of the money or whatever. Okay, go ahead, Rob. Rob Richard wants to uh, speak. Hey, but before this game starts, I want to say a few things. Don't worry, Dad. How, uh, and I, I, might, I might crack a cry for a minute, but in 2020, he passed away from, uh, from COVID. <laughs> And he, he was a pretty well-known bowler around the area. We were both people that bowled at the Palace, and uh, we liked to bowl in our tournaments. Like, shout out to Dave Madela if you're watching. We did the King of the Palace there. Steve Bronchuk. Yeah, right. Bronchuk was there. And uh, we also used to have our four-man tournaments, which was pretty fun. We had four of us, uh, me and my dad, and uh, Lenny Daigle, who bowls with us. We always had a thing, who's going to bowl anchor? Because we all had, like, 113 averages. And it was like a... Uh, we always had our fun bowling, and if, if, if this is a regular tournament going, my dad would definitely be here. We used to have a friendly rivalry going, and every time we bowl each other, we bowl for like 20 bucks or something just to have fun. And, uh, That's but, great, man. But, def but definitely, I, uh, we all miss him. And, uh, hey, it's uh, great turn on, great turn on this memory today, though, man. Yeah, it's like awesome. That one. So who was the highest out of the average, out of the money? Oh, you, 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 you said you were doing a high single out of the money. Yeah, well, I did. Find yeah, it's got seven pins on me. Uh, <laughs> that's what I was doing. Was there an orange pin at all? No. No. But we added it. So there was no high single out of the money like the no, money night. Oh, just for the. Oh, just for the. The orange pin money we added to the first, second, and third. Okay, the orange pin money. Orange pin was not hit tonight, so that money be added to the prize fee. Brian Surprise, Joe Rab, the sentimental favorite here out of Putnam Street, always competing in the King of the Hills. He's been in like five ladders in the last year and a half. He's so he's a very good bowler. He does very well in these lanes. Looking for that first title though. 
both bulls, I think, looking for the first major title of any kind in Canada Pit. So this is great that this uh, the handicap tournament gives everybody a chance to do it. And he gets it, Brian. Surprise! Gotta love them sidewalls. <laughs> Ten and a ball, Joe Ten. This is another scratch match. They both have the same average. Joe Rab is here, Putnam Street in Pittsburgh. Brian Surprise representing Diamond Junction Lanes. Yeah, because she did. That's a good match. All of them have been really close except for the last game. These are two really good bowlers that really bowl a lot. Oh, wow. Goes between the 1 3, gets the 1. Okay. 369 for Joe. Surprise with a 7. 4 7 10. Two game final, everybody. Two game final. And it's scratch. Joe gets the sidewall this time for his bear. Brian gets it. Wow, what goal is. Okay, 27 20. Each has a fill ball. The type of bowling we love to see right now. Remember, once this gets put up on YouTube, when you're watching on your phone, once it's on YouTube, you can really move it into the pins. I try to keep it back so you can see the release and the ball hitting the pins. Five for Joe. Seven for Brian. Brian up nine right now. Joe with a good bid did not go. Brian with a good bid does not go. Both open in the third. 34 for Joe. 43 for Brian. Nine, nine pin lead right now for Brian. <laughs> Brian bowled a match earlier today. Five strings. Wow, off the head pin. Joe gets a crazy mix. Someone's going to have to go get that pin. Probably fish. And Brian gets a crazy mix of at least a 7 8. Gary, the owner of the house, is coming on now to get that pin. Both bulls with really good spare leaves. I like the wood for Brian's, but wood on seven eights and eight nines and nine tens are very tricky. Yeah, Jim, we will do our best to make Candle Pin great again, man. Bob Lee, uh, Paul Grant are doing some great work as well out there. Micah Imperato, who's in Hawaii right now. And all you people that view it. Yeah, bro, just be careful not to bump the table. Oh, sorry, The table's a little Alright. Here we go, Joe Rav. Just missed. All right. And he makes it. Surprise. We have four. Okay, surprise up nine with a fill ball here. As we're ending the first half of game one of two for the Ron Richard Memorial Tournament Championship. Last year's champion was Aaron Fontaine. He could not uh, come to defend his title this year. Rob. Rob, Aaron Fontaine was the champion. What other champions has the Sherman had so far? The first year we did a doubles tournament instead of this format, and it was actually me and my fiance uh, Katie Boudreaux won it. You did, actually. And, uh, we, we won that one, but that one took place at Mason's, which is no longer there. Yes. But yes. we won that one. But 
that one wasn't a great turnout, but it was the first year, so it's not expected. First year, yeah, you gotta just... But then it's growing. This year we had 21 bowlers. Hopefully next year we can maybe get even more. So is this the second annual or third annual? Third. So who won it? The uh, second one, Aaron Fontaine won okay. last year, and he pulled out of his mind. Average 151 for the whole day. Surprise in the pocket. Oh, God, what a bad break. 5'10", but there's wood in there to help Brian surprise. Joe was in the ocean a bitch. Took out the 6 and the 9. Joe going at it. Oh, it's my right, God. Right. He needs an out. Chop the two off the deck. Surprise! Pinball shot off the, the wood by the four pin. Takes the 5 10. 71 and a ball half. Brian surprised. He's bowling ACSTA level stuff right now. Uh, six. Okay, 21 pin lead for Brian. I got it, Joe. But Joe Rab is explosive. He's got a lot of power on that ball. Twenty-one pin lead in the ball right now. Ryan surprise. Surprise in the pocket, and he hammers it. He is on fire right now. Ninety-one and two balls. Eighty-one half. Boy, Joe really got to get scoring. Joe gets eight. Joe needs to try to fight fire with fire right here. There ain't no defense in bowling. And Brian's dropping nuclear bombs in this place. There we go. Okay. 31 pin lead for Brian, but I had an A division game where Justin Waters had a 51 point lead and the, the, the uh, Billy Shiner Sr. beat him by 66 in one game. So anything can happen. Take him! Okay, surprise in the pocket. Five, nine, ten. A couple pieces of wood with the uh, freaking sticking out there. Oh, come on, Joe. The cap sticking right out of him. Oh, bad pull for Joe there, too. Catch it! And he makes it. God, this kid's. Don't be sad. Six out of seven ain't bad. Brian, surprise. Just lighten it up here. Shows needs to get a ten right here. Try to stay with him while he's erupting and hope he can find an eruption of his own here. Candle pin momentum can change quick. It's a 40 pin lead for Brian Surprise right now. Yeah, I know, Nico. This table's a little sensitive. I'm trying to keep everybody away. Oh. In the chop zone, cold and stale that time. Gets four on the spare though. Work it. Joe, God, gets a one, three, five, eight, nine. Two atrocious leaves here. And oh my, is it gonna go? Oh wow. Brian did everything but make it. Played that on the outside beautifully. Wow. Oh, that's what Joe needs right now. He's down 40. He's to start making up some of these pins. Up 39 now. Joe got the big fill ball coming. Like I tell you, man. Anything is possible in candle pins when it comes to deficits. Bill Stecky says, go Rav. Bill was here tonight trying to make this ladder. Great ball by surprise, 4-7. Thought the seven was hit, but it just didn't go. Right there. Show the pocket. Nice Show Rav. Saying not so fast. Oh, right on it. Surprise. 23 pins, though. He's cut 17 off that deficit. And Joe's got two balls working. Brian with one. 134. Take them all. Oh, man. Gets a nine on his spare, though. Nothing to sneeze at. 143 in the ninth. Five, fifty. Come on. Run it. Run it. Buck sixty right here. Okay, Joe's got another one. He took three there. Needs to make the spare. 
153 in a ball. Brian Surprise. Doing some Josh Daly type bowling right now. Five for Joe. That gives it 106. In ninth. 113 for Joe in the first game. But Brian Surprise bowling out of his mind right now. Touch him all! And he hits seven. That is a buck sixty for Brian Surprise. What a game. That is the highest game I have broadcast this year at Putnam Street. Joe, nice finish, buddy. Come on. You got life in you. Okay. 47 pins right now. Like I said, Billy Shiner was down 51 to Justin Waters, and at the end of the game, he was up 15. It can happen. Anything can happen to Candle Pits. But beautiful bowling by Brian Surprise. Joe in the pocket, light, not really carrying much. 3, 6, 7, 8, 10 with some wood. 7, 9, 10. Brian in the chop zone. Chop suey cold and stale. 3, 5, 9 off that deck. Be bad like like chop suey's been in your fridge for like three days. Show used the wood, but not quite. It was a little too deep. Leaving a 3 7. Surprise guesses. When it's your day, it's your day. Surprise is just. Thank you. Conscious. The way Joe. The way he's going, it's going to take somebody like Josh Daly or Justin Waters to bowl him right now. I, I think you should, kid. Brian, big fill, buddy. Big fill. Come on. All right. Joe just... Seven, eight, nine. Will it go? Come on. Freaking wood. Doesn't even help the poor guy here. Surprise, five, six, seven. All right, 17. Brian up eight for the game. Yeah, he's on fire, all right. I'll get, uh, Joe just missed. Oh, no. Smooth, smooth. 27, you know. Joe has bowled pretty well, but to use a decent analogy, he's been shooting an AK-47 and Brian's dropping nuclear bombs on him. I mean, it's, it's basically it right now. Got eight boxes to go, though. Plenty of time. Joe gets... Joe's very explosive. Show the pie. There we go. There you go, Joe. Open up the Kaboom Box Show Rav. He's got to get that adrenaline flow in to make a big run here. Okay, Brian. A little bit off there. Got in the chop zone. One, three, four, six, seven, nine. Uh, he's made that a couple times tonight, but not this time. Leaving a six and a seven. Okay. It's a nine box. Right now, Brian's up eight in the game. Joe with a two ball fill. Ah, we're seeing some. Joe for the double. Oh, just got in the nose. Leaving the big four, four, six, seven, and ten. Okay, surprise. One, three, nine, ten, no wood. Uh, maybe the wood that's in the gutter near the ten may help. Oh, 
Eight in the strike for Joe. Ties the game, but... Oh, surprise. I notice he likes playing these spares on the outside. It's very effective for him. I'm more of an inside player myself. It's out, Joe. Ten for Joe. 46-46. We're dead even for the game, but... Still that 47 pin lead from that 160. Six boxes. <laughs> 34 viewers still. Thank you very much. Third annual uh, Ron Richard tournament. I'm Drew Steele. Glad to be here at Putnam Street Lanes. Frying off a little bit. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Joe with the four horsemen with the eight. That'll be. Okay, that's a six buck. It's not a six buck. Both bowlers with four pins up. Joe with the one, two, four, eight. First. Ooh. Joe loses balance a little bit and gets an eight box. Very humid conditions. A lot of rain. Ten box for Brian. 56-54 in the game right now. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Bowlers switch lanes for the final half of the tournament. Surprise, surprise. This is his ninth game of the day. But he's held up great. Just need, some, just need some marks here, that's all. Surprise. Looks like he's st stuck a little bit. With all the rain going on outside, it's going to eventually affect things inside with the humidity. Just, just got to be a little careful there. Maybe uh, anybody with a slide bag to help the bowlers out? Because these lanes have been used a lot, a lot of body heat, along with this extreme humidity we're seeing. Makes the lanes a little sticky sometimes. Okay. Alright, one, two, and eight left. He's gotta maybe. He's gonna try to he's gonna wipe the spot down here. There's one spot in particular he's sliding that's sticking. He's going to try just to wipe it down. A lot of humidity in the air tonight. Those of you in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, know. New Hampshire, you're getting snow. We're getting monsoon rains. It's a little sticky spot. We're going to take a little break right now. Player safety is very important. We don't want anybody getting hurt doing this. Could be sweat too, you know. Very humid conditions once again. Uh, once again, I'm Drew Steele. We're going to wait a couple seconds. I'd like to thank all, all the bowlers that did stay to watch, man. That's really cool. Are you feeling okay? Huh? You feeling okay? Got those couple slips. Yeah, no, it's it's um, yeah. the the wood is is like the finish is gone off it, so it's yeah, the wood's it's coming off. Oh. What's wrong? So it's not. It's almost like the, the finish just came off. There's a bit longer. Yeah. You bolted last night. Oh, it's just yes. <laughs> so Brian's going to have to adjust to try to miss that spot, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with my car. You can hear him sticking every time. It was... Uh, the older Gary's going to try to put a little uh, something down there to help him sign. A lot to keep everything safe for these bowlers, man. Don't want anybody getting hurt. I know uh, one of my teammates last year was bowling a tournament in a different house than this. 
and uh, he wrecked his knee and he had to miss four weeks. He had to miss the rest of the season. So. Okay, Walter Stover says Maine is raining on the coast, snow in the mountains. Thank you, Walter, for watching. Having a little delay. Hey, that looked pretty good. Okay. Bowlers are finishing up box six. Yep, a lot of moisture in the air. Well, like I've, I've said repeatedly. <laughs> Because that colonial bowl where I learned to bowl, candle pins, it was the same way. On a, on a humid night, the pins usually didn't move good, or uh, it may get a little sticky. Or if it gets very hot and humid in the summer, same conditions. All right. Six box. Bowlers will be on their third ball when we continue this match. Sorry for the delay, fans. You got any questions about candle pin bowling, the sport? Just let me know. Again, I'm sorry for the uh, vertical. Facebook does not allow me to go landscape. I guess there's software and stuff I can do. I got to figure it out. Get a link to the software. Okay, there we go. Ten box for Brian. Ten box for Brian, right there. Sixty-six for six. And a 10 box for Joe, 64. Four boxes to go. Two for the game, 49 for the match. So winding this down. Brian in the pocket. Five, six, nine, ten. Got some wood. Joe Rab in the pocket. Uh, okay, gets eight. All right. Okay, pretty much right now, Joe got a mark out. It's that type of situation. All right, surprise. Nice oh, man. How did the six stay out on that? That was a beautiful bid for Brian's surprise. <laughs> Joe gets a spare. Okay, right now we're in a situation. Joe down two for the game. That means he's down 49 for the match. He's a big fill here. Nine or ten. Cut it down to 40. Right off the board, Joe. Right off the Ryan off the head pin, 5-6. But a good break getting the wood between the 6-10 on that four horseman. So Rav gets it out. Nice ball. 7-8. Okay. 82. He's cut the lead down to 41. Okay. Surprise will be open in the eighth, Ryan. Joe's got a very difficult 4-10. I do not think the wood is any good. Oh, nice bit. Nice try, nice bit. Sarah, Matt, let me see his name. Troyano tournaments. We have a King of the Hill tournament coming up here, Putnam Street. Get here at 6.30. First ball's around 7, 7.15. First Saturday of the month, 80% handicap. We're right here at Putnam Street Lanes in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts. Yes. Around this time next year, uh, Rob Richard will be doing his father's uh, memorial tournament again here in Pittsburgh. That's will be another tournament. There's all sorts of tournaments coming up. Check out uh, Candle Pin Chat on Facebook. And uh, this King of the Hill series has been very successful. Okay, Joe. It's seven. Let me, let me go. Oh, he almost makes it. That will do it. Uh, 141. Hey, guys. Good spare. Oh, 
All right, that does it. Brian's surprise is the Ron Richard third annual world tournament champion. Great fight put up by Joe Rab, but that 160 was really hard to overcome. Okay, you just left the four horsemen again for Brian. Joe looking to finish strong here. Little Brooklyn, 107 in the night for Joe. Joe will win the second game of the match. Brian kind of slowed down a little bit the second game. Joe with a spare on back-to-back -back spares, 117 in the ball. Great effort for Joe. Just a couple times he's ran into buzz socks. Justin Scally at a 140 something, 160 here for Brian Surprise. 264 for Brian Surprise for two. And he is your champion. Great bowling by Joe Rapp, though. 119 for Joe Rapp. Uh, no, no. It was six spare in the first one, spare two in the tenth. Six in the ninth, two in the tenth. Yeah, you're back in there. 119 for Mr. Joe Rapp. For a 232, Joe will get second place in the tournament. And great bowling. Congratulations to Brian Surprise. I'm going to go do it. You want to do the post game with me before we uh, give up the money? Okay, we'll go up. Hey guys, step back a little bit. We'll do a little post game here with the two of you. First of all, we get up the gear here, my man here. This is Joe Rav. Did you send a run in a buzz sauce? Scout to a four million. He puts a 60, but you both great up Had a couple rough boxes, but you had a great day. What are your feelings about that? Oh, hey, he bowled well all night, and it was a great match all tonight, so. Definitely. Yeah. We know he'd be back. Joe Rav, great bowler. You know he'd be back for the King of the Hill coming up. Got yeah. second place. Now the first place man right here. Brian, are you feeling this good coming in today? I know you had a roughie with Fendo earlier, but oh, I took it out all your aggression from using yeah. that one on all these guys. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah definitely. Uh, it was tough, man. This is, this is the first time I've, I've actually won a tournament. So it's like I was definitely feeling the pressure, but um, yeah. No, it was it was good bowling from everyone. 160 just was a phenomenal game. Yeah. Here I can't Rob, the out. Special our champion. Right. Next year you get a free entry. Sweet. You want to come? I mean, you still have the bowl and get your way in. But the place we can get your free entry in. And, uh, Sounds good. Hopefully, bring your friend and we'll have a good time again. Definitely. Hey, hey, nice. Thank you. Bring up Dave Lobby. Now we got third place bowler right here. Yeah, you too. Pleasure bowling with you. Thank you. Thank you. Great qualifying round. I think you almost got the high game that third game, but Joe had to take your high game on the other game. But Great competitor. Hope to see you in the King of the Hill soon, too, sir. Um, I just want to say uh, to all the viewers out there, I want to thank you so much for uh, tuning in, including my wife, I love you, and Oscar Aries, who's watching Big Pro um, out of Gardner, and all the competitors here. I want to say congratulations to Price and Price, and I want to say congratulations to Joe Jr., and uh, where's the fourth place? Oh, no. Louis. Oh, Louis. <laughs> Louis Mahar. Louis gone. Hey, I just want to say thank you to all. Uh, what a great tournament. Anybody come bowl here in the King of the Hill on the first Saturday next month. Uh, they run a great King of the Hill. And um, Jerry's got a great house here. And uh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Mr. David Rama. Thank you, thank you Mr. Uh, uh, Richards. All right. Just to close it out, I want to thank everybody that bowled and everybody that's been watching tonight. Like, this was amazing. I was not expecting as many bowlers as we had tonight. And, um, thank you. It, it almost chokes you up every time, man. Somebody, every time Drew mentioned my dad's tournament, and he choked me up because there's so much I wish he could be here. But I know he's here. He was watching. And, but, again, thank you all, and have a good night. Woo. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. It was a great tournament. It was a great night. Some fantastic bowling, and just Brian Surprise had it work in the night. Once again. Hold on, Junior. Can you get one second? Uh, I think that's... You're in a middle. Yeah, yeah, touch.
<laughs> They're going to take a little picture. All right, as we are uh, getting ready to sign off right now, I am Drew Steele for Mr. Rob Richard and my man Gary here, the owner of Putnam Street Lanes. This was the third annual uh, Ron Richard Roy tournament. The winner, Mr. Brian Surprise, runner up Joe Rab, third place Dave LaRaba. Thank you and good night.